Hey everybody, welcome to vlog 18. It has been a minute since we've vlogged, so Eric and I have lots to catch you up on. Yeah. How about the fire muster? The fire muster was so much fun. Thank you all so much for coming out to it. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you uh, who are not in the area or could not attend, we had the 34th annual Mile High Hook and Ladder Fire Muster and Parade. Mm -hmm. And basically it was a bunch of different fire apparatus from all over the area. They had a parade in downtown Littleton. And then afterwards was the big muster celebration where we were able to put the uh, aerial trucks out. We were able to do some demonstrations uh, we had an extrication demonstration from our rig at South Metro Tower 34. So just a ton of fun to see the community. It was our first time officially participating in it. Uh, and Eric actually got to be a part of the parade, which is really exciting. Yeah, I actually own an old Castlewood fire truck. Um, Castlewood is one of the departments that later became South Metro and what it is today. Uh, my truck is called Red Leader 35, and it was the very first airport rescue fire truck at Centennial Airport. And it served at our fire district from 1970 until the year 2000. And then from 2000 to 2016, it was a maintenance truck at the airport. And after the airport retired it, I bought it and turned it back into the original look of the Castlewood truck. So I drove it in the parade and had it on display. And it's really exciting for me because I sat in that truck when I was a kid and used to visit the fire stations. And I used to go to this fire muster every year when I was growing up. So it's really fun to be a part of it in a different way. And we loved seeing all of the different agencies who were out there, 10 different agencies, law enforcement, fire, you name it. And there was also a helicopter that landed there, an air life helicopter. So lots of action. And if you missed us this year, be sure to come out for the 35th annual next year. And if you wanna see the entire Fire Muster Parade, uh, check out the link that I'll post below to Colorado Fire Buff's YouTube channel. He got the whole thing as it drove by, awesome. super cool. So we're just getting into the summertime and we do get a lot of thunderstorms here in South Metro's district. And uh, earlier this week, we had a really unique call. It's, it's only the second time I've ever seen this happen. We had a lightning bolt hit an object. This time it was a metal sign in the town of Foxfield and the electricity followed the sign down into the ground, hit a natural gas line and it blew up into a ball of flames. So we had the initial call go out as a grass and fence fire. And when Tower 35 got on scene, they saw a way bigger volume of fire than made sense, especially in the pouring rain. So our crews were on scene for over five hours while the gas company dug on both sides of the pipe to clamp it off and stop the flow of gas. And then ultimately they'll have to repair that. Um, so it's kind of a unique site. The other one that I've been on was, well, uh, like maybe 10 years ago, and it was in Station 13's first due area. That one was a lightning bolt that hit a tree, 
and the electricity went down through the grass in the front yard and it made a blowtorch of flame just out of the grass in the front yard of the house. So we've got some pictures of that old incident that I'll show here too. So also this week, South Metro had yet another duckling rescue. We're just, just playing, <laughs> we're playing duck, duck, goose over and over. Yeah. But there's no, there's no geese with these, it's mainly ducks. Yeah, while I was gone, there was a <laughs> snake rescue and yes. uh, Tower 18, uh, which has been doing a lot of our animal rescues, actually had to get a dog from underneath a shed this week too. Um, but this time with the ducks, it was a little bit more unique. They weren't all so easy to grab like the last ones had been. Four of them uh, were in plain sight and the firefighter was able to just put them in a box and they were good to go. The other four ducklings had crawled down the storm drain pipe underneath the street and they were too far away from their mother to actually hear her calls. So they were frightened and confused. They're down in the pipe and our firefighters weren't able to grab them. So in a, in a great moment of ingenuity, the firefighter- Genius. Totally. Genius. Firefighter pulled out his cell phone, went to YouTube, pulled up a video of a mama duck calling for her ducklings and played that audio into the pipe. And the little <laughs> ducklings just ran straight towards him because they heard that sound. So he was able to grab them, put them in the box and, and we reunited all eight ducklings with their mother, which was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Douglas County Office of Emergency Management has contracted an exclusive use firefighting helicopter for the county for wildland fires. And even though fire danger is kind of low right now, we get lightning strikes to trees that are hard to access where the helicopter can be really beneficial. And our grasses, as everybody probably knows, dries out really, really quickly. So even though we're gonna have a bunch of rain this week, uh, we know next week it's gonna be dry and 90 degrees. A lot of fireworks out there, so there's a good chance we'll start having brush fires again. And the helicopter is actually stationed in South Metro's district near Station 40. So our crews have been doing training with it and how to fill it, how to operate, how to work with the pilot, and uh, here's some video of them doing uh, water supply, resupplying operations and dumping.
very exciting part of the week, we have patch shout outs. <laughs> so we have one from Lafayette Fire Department. The other ones are Borough of Hoppet Kong in New Jersey. Did you pronounce that right? I don't know if I, I hope I, I did. I really I hope I did. did. It's a really cool patch. Super cool. And then there's also one from, this could be another struggle for me, but I'm going to try. Wow, Watosa Fire Department. Hopefully I got that one right. Yeah. Thank you all so much for trading with us. We're still adding to our collection, so we love doing this. Yeah, super cool. And you guys can send us messages on social media. South Metro does send our patches to people who do request. If you live in the United States, we can mail some to you. And if you want to trade patches with us, let us know. Um, we are definitely starting our collection and, and we want to make it grow. It's so growing. it's very exciting. So this week has been very sad for the Colorado community. Trooper William Modane with the Colorado State Patrol, he was killed on I-70 and that is in Arapahoe County. So a lot of our different staff members have been wearing shrouded badges to honor his life. And today is his memorial service. So uh, as we've talked about, Eric and I, whenever someone uh, is, is killed like this, this not only affects that agency, but also agencies that work directly uh, with them. So our, our thoughts and prayers are absolutely with him and his family as well as Colorado State Patrol. Um, but it's definitely been something that's been on our hearts and minds this week. Absolutely. And that's another really great reminder when you see emergency vehicles, please slow down and move over for them. Colorado State Patrol has lost a number of troopers in recent years uh, being struck on the highways. Our firefighters are certainly at a high risk of that as well. So um, we, we please ask everybody out there just to keep that in mind as you're approaching emergency vehicles on the roadways that there might be people uh, out there working and, and those people all have families who are, are mm -hmm. devastated by tragedies like this.